year six, welcome to Thursday's geography lesson. It is our final geography lesson um, in this topic of, uh, yeah, in this topic uh, linked to Brazil. So we will be moving on for our additional lesson um, in our remote learning to go with the reading, the English and the maths to some science work. But this is our final uh, geography lesson. I hope you have enjoyed learning about Brazil. It's one of my favorite things to do, finding out about other countries and cultures around the world. I find it fascinating. So today's learning challenge, how important is tourism to Brazil's economy? Now, our overarching topic question has been linked to uh, why is Brazil's uh, economy one of the fastest growing on earth? So why is their economy growing so quickly? We've done some work about the natural resources. We've done some work about um, the other things that they have in the country, what the Amazon rainforest brings to the economy. And today, hopefully, you'll start to see what tourism does for Brazil's economy. So three things that I would like you to know by the end of this. I know why so many people visit Brazil each year. I can name a number of Brazil's most famous tourist attractions, and I can explain how tourism impacts on Brazil's economy. And if we can do all those three things, we will have achieved our learning challenge for the day, and we'll be at a good way towards achieving that overall um, topic question, which, along with everything else, we will have done. Okay. So, Tourism is a growing sector in Brazil. In fact, it is the fastest growing uh, economic sector in Brazil and is key to the economy of several regions. So there will be some parts of Brazil that don't rely as heavily on tourism, but for, me, for a number of them, it is really, really important to their economy. In 2018 alone, 6.589 million people from around the world visited the country. That is a huge number of people to visit a country in a single year. Now, there are a number of reasons for that, and here we, we go through some of them. So Brazil offers a huge range of activities and options for people from the country, so domestically, domestic tourists, people who already live in the country, and people from around the world, international tourists. They have natural areas, and they are some of the most popular tourist attractions. Uh, if you think about the Amazon rainforest, for example, a very, very popular tourist attraction a very few places on earth have anything that comes similar, that uh, comes close to being similar to the Amazon rainforest. And um, there are a huge number of leisure and recreational activities that you can do. People like to go on holiday for the sun and the beach, and Brazil's climate all year round is generally very warm, and they have some amazing beaches, um, and people love going there. There are also historic and cultural attractions that, again, hopefully, you'll come across some of them through this lesson. Right, well, I'm just going to move myself out of the way a little bit for this section. I've picked six of um, probably Brazil's most visited tourist attractions, I would say, some of the, the most famous tourist attractions. Um, I'm just going to go through just so you can have a look at what is on offer in Brazil and why people would go there. So in the top left up here, we have Iguazu Falls, an incredible waterfall, and you can clearly see how fascinating it would be to go and visit that. Um, we have the carnivals in the middle. Now, I know that's not a particular location, but they have regular carnivals throughout the year celebrating different um, religious uh, festivals and also linked to other elements of life in Brazil. And the carnivals are really, really popular. Some amazing music. They go uh, to great care with the outfits and also the floats that you can see there. Those aren't people. That is a huge float that has been built, and you can see how many people stand and watch. And they actually have a stadium for carnivals where people sit in stands like you would at football or, or sports competitions over in England and other countries. Here is a very, very famous site from Brazil, the Christ the Redeemer statue, which looks over the city of Rio de Janeiro. And again, one of the most visited uh, tourist attractions in Brazil. Ipanema Beach which runs along the front in uh, Rio de Janeiro, one of the most popular beaches. And you can see why the sun, the sand, and the sea. Um, and here, just at the back where the trees are, we have a pavement that just runs along the front of the, the city. So it is literally part of the city. They don't have to travel from, for miles to get there. It's just where they live. Um, the Cathedral of Brasilia, an amazing building. So Brasilia, hopefully by now, you know, is the capital city of Brazil. Um, and this is its cathedral that's in, in, the, uh, in the city. An amazing building, very unlike um, many 
sort of more historical uh, churches or religious buildings. And here we have the harbour of Rio de Janeiro. And this structure here is called Sugar Loaf Mountain. And the harbour of, of Rio is a fascinating place, naturally occurring and draws huge numbers of crowds. You can see the number of boats out there and also along this line here you have the beaches. So amazing places to visit. There are many other tourist attractions in Brazil. The Amazon Rainforest and Amazon River are other attractions that we have learned about already. Brazil is home to one of the new seven wonders of the world, which I showed you before, Christ the Redeemer, and is home to one of the natural wonders of the world, the harbour of Rio de Janeiro. So they've been given a certain status globally and recognised for how incredible they are. And that in itself will draw huge numbers of people to visit. There is a YouTube video uh, from a tourism company and it goes through some of the most amazing places to visit. It's about 15 minutes long, um, but well worth a watch and gives you a really good insight and will certainly make the task easier. Okay, if you watch that video, you will find the task fairly straightforward. So, your task today. You have a, a leaflet framework on your piece of paper today. Uh, there are instructions on how to put it out and what's expected. I'm just going to go through them here. So you need to select three of Brazil's most famous tourist attractions. They can be the tourist attractions like Christ the Redeemer, or they could be um, a city. So Rio de Janeiro as a whole, you could do as a tourist attraction because that's got the Rio de Janeiro harbour. It's also got Christ the Redeemer and Ipanema Beach. Or you could do the natural wonders of Brazil and the, the uh, Christ the Redeemer and the ha Rio de Janeiro harbour together. But you need to complete the leaflet frame, draw a picture in the top box on each panel, and then underneath you need to give the name of it, of what it is you're writing about, and write why it is such an incredible attraction to visit Villa. If you can tie in some of the information about how many people visit per year, and also maybe what, what money it makes for the country, tourism-wise, that will all link to the economy, and that would be brilliant. Really look forward to seeing some of your work.